Welcome back to Trading with CJ. Today, we have a top five stocks to buy under $5. All of these five stocks sit under that $5 range. They are penny stocks. And this is kind of a follow-up from a video we did a few weeks ago on stocks to buy under $10. If you want to go ahead and check that out, I'll leave that linked in the description below. That was stocks to buy under 10 So we are following up. And I'm going to do this in two parts because I actually have quite a few I want to cover, okay? Some of these I've covered before and some of these are brand new to the channel. If you appreciate all of these updates and these new stocks to our channel, etc., please go ahead and smash a like and subscribe as well. That really is appreciated. Join us on the Discord, which is completely free, and we have a Patreon for exclusive videos, live streams, and my buys and sells. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it, okay? So I have five stocks to buy today under $5. Now, all of these stocks are pretty exciting. I'll go through whether I own them or not as we go. The first one up here is brand new to my channel. Never spoke about this one before, and for disclosure, I do not currently own them, but it's pretty exciting, okay? You may have heard of this one by now. We're talking about Drive Shack. Drive Shack is kind of like a driving range. It's a golf driving range company, but it's a bit more than just that. If you know Top Golf uh, in the UK and America, etc., it's kind of similar to Top Golf, okay? This for me is a recovery play slash value play right now as well. I really do think that once things are really get open back up and the world gets moving again properly, this company is going to take off. So Drive Shack, you can see here, you know, it's, it's a golf company and it has, it's not just that, it has corporate parties celebrations, special events, and so much more. It's kind of like a social activity. You don't need to be good at golf to go and play golf here. You can just go and have a lot of fun. It's really exciting, that's for sure. I love going top golf in the UK. And uh, yeah, this is a similar version, but obviously this is uh, throughout America. We actually have their next financials coming out very soon, May the 7th. It's going to be interesting to see. Their previous financials wasn't that amazing from Q4. The revenue was down slightly, okay, and the profits were down slightly. However, we expected that due to the ongoing uh, global situation. But now, I really do think they're going to be picking up. I would imagine uh, the revenue and the financials to be looking a lot better now from the previous quarter. So I'm definitely interested to see that. They're also constantly bringing out good news, okay? Recently, we had the, this brand new puttery. There's puttery mini golf experience that they're going to be bringing out as well. And in this is from the investor presentation you can see. It's called Puttery Progress. So it's kind of like a mini golf, but in summer 2021, so this year, they're going to be debuting two puttery venues in Dallas and Charlotte. So this this is another big revenue stream to this company. So it is really exciting. They also have a strategic partnership with Rory McIlroy, one of the best golfers in the world. I really think that this has got a lot of potential, okay, over the next coming months. Is it a long-term hold? I'm not too sure, okay? But for me, I definitely would be thinking the next year or so, it has a good upside potential. If we look at their current share price, at the time of recording this, they currently trade for $3.00. 41 cents. Now, I can imagine it's been volatile over the next few days and weeks, etc. And obviously, the earnings are going to have a big impact. If the earnings are good, we could see some green in this company. And if they are worse than the previous quarter, which I can't expect, but you never know, you never know, they could also go down. But if we look at the one year graph, okay, they're actually um, pretty much where they was during the pandemic. So if we go back to the start of the pandemic, they are now pretty much at those uh, same levels as they was back then. So it has recovered since in terms of its share price. However, the stock has a lot of upside potential as well, and the company does. Currently has a market cap of 311 million, and yeah, I do not currently own them. $3.41 at this moment in time, but I think it is a good value recovery buy. On to my second stock on this list. I'm not going to talk too much about this one because you probably know it by now. We spoke about it a lot on my channel. We are talking about, talking about Torchlight, Torchlight Energy, ticker symbol TRCH. This is an oil and gas company, and you can see here it's based in Texas, higher growth oil and gas exploration and production company. However, that is not why we're investing into this one because it will not be torchlight for much longer. This company is actually merging with a company called Meta Materials and this was their agreement here. This was back in December time. Meta Materials and Torchlight signed definitive agreement for business combination. Meta Materials is a much more uh, promising company going forward. Okay, it's a lot, got a lot of great things going on for this company. They specialize in the design and nanofabrication of highly functional materials designed to improve the ways we interact with and benefit light and other forms of energy. This company has so much going for it. If I was to cover all about it, it would be an extremely long video. So I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. For now, we talk about Torchlight, which will be merging to become Meta Materials uh, very, very soon, we hope. If you want all the updates on that, check out my videos on Torchlight. But Torchlight currently trades for $2.12 per share. Now, the bit, great thing about this, when it merges with Meta, if you hold Torchlight, you'll be getting a very nice dividend payout within the next year, okay? And yeah, I think it's gonna be volatile again over the 
the next few weeks and months. But as we get closer to that merger, we could really see this price run up. Currently, it has a market cap of 307 million. On to my first stock here, and let's call this one my secret weapon. I have spoken about these before, not for some time though. We're talking about ElectroCore, ticker symbol ECOR. This company's mission is simple. They want to help patients a lot across the globe who suffer from pain and chronic conditions. It's predominantly focused on the cluster headache and migraine treatment as well, but it also has a COVID and MVS treatment as well. And yeah, it has this product called the Gamma Core Sapphire. Basically, you put it onto the uh, Vagnus Nerve Simulator, and it's going to help relieve pain from cluster headaches and migraines. A massive, massive problem. And this company, once again, it said financials are coming out on May the 6th. Very, very soon. And I imagine they're going to be quite good because they've had a lot of strategic partnerships. If we just look at some of the news here, okay? Exclusive distribution agreements with Medistar. They uh, got a 510 five, clearance of the Gamma Core to treat adolescents' migraines as well. They also have partnerships with NHS as well. This company really is starting to break out. It's not currently profitable. However, this company is FDA cleared and it's clearing more and more FDA clearance on more of their lines as well. At the moment, it's um, majority a migraine and cluster headache, but they're looking to broaden this out into traumas. Uh, stroke, etc., etc. Lots of big things for this company going forward. We want this to become profitable, get some big partnerships underway. It's in the healthcare sector, so it's very volatile for sure. And yeah, not many of those uh, penny stocks out there are making profit, but hopefully this one will. I've done a full analysis, check it out on my channel. Currently trades for $1.70 per share. Trades on the NASDAQ, and if we look at the last month graph, we are down considerably about 15%. And uh, on the last six month graph, we are down from those highs uh, about 45%. So it's got a bit of recovery to go, but my secret weapon currently has a market cap of less than 100 million. In fourth stock on this list is one I've never spoke about on this channel before. However, if you're part of the Discord, you will know that I was buying this one. I bought this one quite a while ago. I have not added to it for a little while, okay? But I really do like them. We're talking about ticker symbol SGBX. This is SG Blocks. Now, basically, this is a container company, okay? And it's not just any old container company. They basically do innovative things with their containers. You can see here what we do build better, stronger, faster, and greener with blocks. We help builders save time, money, and more. SG Blocks give builders of every size a comp competitive advantage on every project. Not only you can offer your clients a greener and more sustainable solutions, you can dramatically reduce time and cost, which gives you more opportunity to grow your business. Now, we're starting to see these containers pop up all over the place. If you're from the UK, you'll probably know. Box Park in London, okay? This is all made out of containers, reused, okay? And they're, they're shops in that instance, but they can be all sorts of things. You know, see some of these pictures right here, they look like fascinating designs, quite edgy and trendy and really on point. And I really think it's gonna do big things. The financials are quite good as well. You can see here, fourth quarter and full year 2020, the revenue was up considerably. $7.4 million compared to 337 Thousand gross profit was up 1.6 million dollars compared to 48,000. Operating expenses were down. Okay, the numbers were going in the right direction. It was making a net loss uh, to common shareholders of approximately 1.6 million dollars. Okay, but that was uh, compared to a 4.1 the year before. So the numbers are really going in the right direction. And you can see here we repurpose shipping containers into iconic structures. I really think this is a could a green stock as well. Okay, not 100% green because they're big metal shipping containers, but nevertheless they are being reused. It's definitely helping to save the environment and it is really doing good things edgy trendy on point i like this company i do have shares in them and i'm going to do a full analysis at some point okay but like i say currently trading here for three dollars 68 per share looking at the six month graph the same as many penny stocks it is down considerably it actually went over to eight dollars 42 it went past that penny stock range for a little while that was in about mid january since then it has been falling off it is down about 56 percent and there is no reason for this, okay, from my understanding. But like I say, it has a market of 32 million. I really do like this company. And yeah, I will get around to a full analysis video if that's something you're interested in. Let me know in the comments below. The last one up today on my first part, part one of uh, five stocks to buy under $5 is Cynodyme, ticker symbol CIDM. Now this is a company I do love. I've made many, many videos on them. Check them all out, okay? They do currently uh, trade for $1.44 per share. And this is basically an equivalent to Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. This is an online streaming platform. But the news coming around this one is absolutely amazing, okay? They've been smashing their numbers. Viewership is up incredibly. And look at this, partnership after partnership. The launch of Film Detective uh, on Raccoon TV. Partnership, also had a recent partnership with Genius Brands as well. The Cartoon Channel, uh, Fanta Wild Animation, Screenbox. Constantly are getting these more and more acquisitions and the numbers are going up as well. We want this one to become profitable. That's what we do want. Not to mention, you know, this is also branching out into the NFT side of things. And we actually had the world's first 
first NFT film label, okay, which uh, I haven't even announced yet on my channel in a specific update video. So that is all to come as well. They announced this uh, NFT film label. So this is massive. They've branched out into the NFT sector as well, which as we know is a growing and exciting sector for sure. Cinedime here is my fifth stock on this list and it currently trades for $1.44 per share, has a market cap of around about 240 million. Same as many penny stocks, but not as bad this one, okay? This one actually had its peak uh, at 2.13 in the middle of February or early February. Since its highs, it's down about 32%. This is a lot less than other ones on there. However, I do think it has a lot of upside potential. Slightly longer hold for me, this company, as opposed to a couple of the other ones I spoke about today. But yeah, I do hold shares in Synodyme as well. So that's just my five stocks a day to buy under $5. Like I said, I will make a part two of this as well. I own uh, four out of these five, and I've only spoke about three out of these five before. Two are brand new to my channel today as well. If you appreciate all of these updates and you want to see more, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel as well. Like I said, we have a Discord completely free where we have some of these stocks even have their own channels on that Discord. Go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching and until next time.